Hey, you think the upstairs neighbors will get mad if I shoot a grappling hook up there? That's the second floor balcony. It'll probably be fine, right? Hey there, grappling nerds, Alan here. If you've been following Sufficiently Advanced, you know that I've been working on a real version of Spider-Man's web shooters that are mini wrist-mounted grappling hook launchers. So to test out different grappling hook designs, I've made this. This is a really fun little air gun I've made, mostly out of plumbing parts and scrap wood. Um, hopefully it'll launch some grappling hooks. For our first test, we're just gonna shoot this pencil. It's got some tape at the end here so that it's a tight fit in the barrel. Um, I'm just gonna pump this up to 150 PSI. I don't know exactly how well this is gonna work, but I mean, at 150 PSI, something's gonna happen. All right, grappling gun, shooting a pencil at 150 PSI, 15 feet in three, two, one. That was so much better than I thought it would be. We're just about ready to try launching some grappling hooks, so first let's take a closer look at the launcher. This PVC pipe is our quote-unquote web cartridge that we looked at in Spider-Man Part 1. It's gonna hold about 20 feet of Kevlar line rated for 2,000 pounds that our grappling hook is gonna be attached to. This whole section here is the pressure chamber. It's just black iron pipe, so it's ready to 150 PSI. This is a Schrader valve, the same kind of valve in uh, bike tires. So that means we can use a CO2 bike tire inflator. There's a pressure gauge here, and that lets us make sure that we're in the correct zone and we're not over-pressurizing this too much. This LiPo battery connects to the solenoid valve and this switch down here, and this is really overkill. I mean, this is a huge LiPo battery. The trigger is this beefy limit switch that I had lying around, and if you know limit switches, you know they're really easy to trigger. So the safety on this gun is actually a thing of sticky tack, mounting putty, and when I'm ready to fire and turn the safety off, I just pull this out and it's ready to go. This is probably one of the worst ideas in the world. After a lot of researching and hunting, I found this valve. It's rated to 245 PSI and the fittings are 3 8 inch NPT, which is decently small for our use, since eventually this is gonna have to fit on my wrist somewhere, like that. Most importantly though, is that the aperture in here is 11 millimeters, which is nearly the inside dimension of the 3 8 inch pipe. These valves are normally used for air suspension for cars, which is why they have such a huge pressure rating and flow rating, so it's perfect for this small pneumatic launcher. Now the main reason I built this grappling gun was to test out different kinds of grappling hooks. So these are the two options I have right now. The first option is what I'm calling the Colin Furs grappling hook. You'll notice that it actually shoots out of the barrel this way and has to flip around to act like a grappling hook. So the second option is what I'm calling the straw wrapper grappling hook because it fits over the barrel instead of in it, kind of like a straw wrapper over a straw. The main drawbacks with this grappling hook is that it's a little more complicated to build and because it's a tube, this wall thickness has to be pretty thick so the whole thing ends up being pretty heavy. And note that these grappling hooks are just tack welded together, we're just doing a firing test, we're not going to be putting any weight on these right now. First up will be the Colin Furs style grappling hook with 20 feet of Kevlar line. Colin Furs style grappling hook, 150 psi, in 3, 2, 1. Next, we're going to swap out barrels and try out the straw wrapper style grappling hook. Straw wrapper style grappling hook, 150 psi in three, two, one. Ooh, oh. <laughs> I kind of, I guess I didn't tie it to the. Well, that worked all right. What I was looking for was if I could fire a grappling hook more or less horizontally and have it clear our Steve Trevor target. And the thing is, both of them are made of steel and so they're really heavy. So our grappling hook launcher just couldn't fire them fast enough. They kind of went out and drooped really fast. The reason that's important is I want to be able to fire a web at just whatever I'm pointing at without having to account for a parabolic arc. Because if I'm swinging, I don't think I'm going to have enough headspace to account for that stuff. The Colin Furs grappling hook has the most room for improvement though. Since most of the body of that grappling hook is just there to fit inside the barrel of the gun, it doesn't have to be structural. If we cut off that stem part and replace the steel with a lighter material, we could probably have the weight of that grappling hook and maybe fire it faster or further. Colin Furs grappling hook, acrylic stem, 
again, 150 PSI, and three, two, one. Still kinda, still didn't quite make it. So it doesn't really seem like the Colin Furs light grappling hook flew any further or faster. It did because of the change in the center of gravity do a beautiful little flip that we wanted to, but um, I don't know, between these three options, the Colin Furs grappling hook, the straw wrapper grappling hook, and the Colin Furs light, I don't really know which one's my favorite. From a design viewpoint, I really like the straw wrapper because it just seems elegant. It's one piece, it goes straight out. From a functional use standpoint though, I think my favorite's gotta be the Colin Furs light grappling hook. Um, not because it performs any better as a grappling hook, but it just weighs so much less that I can imagine if I miss a web or if I shoot something and it like ricochets or bends around and comes back, I would much rather have that light little piece of acrylic or polypropylene or whatever coming back towards my face instead of that big heavy tube that the straw wrapper one is. And really any one of those designs is going to work better if I just increase the pressure. So if I use higher quality materials for the pressure chamber, I can go all the way up to 245 PSI and <laughs> it's gonna fly better no matter what. So help me out. Leave a comment below. Tell me which grappling hook design you like the best and why. You can follow Sufficiently Advanced on Facebook or Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter at Any Technology. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications so you can stay up to date with all my projects. All right, thanks for watching. I, uh, I don't actually know if we can get it down. <laughs> Let's see if this comes back down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Made it!